Well, hello and welcome back. And uh, uh, I, I do have a locksmith business, Houston County Lock and Key, and, and this evening I'm working on utility bed locks. And this particular utility bed lock comes out of one of the Omaha bodies. I make a lot of keys for these, but I'm gonna explain uh, what I look at when somebody calls, and a lot of times I'll have them snap a picture send that to me, send it in a text, and right on the face of the lock, if you'll look on the face of your locks for your utility beds, ca cabinet locks, all of those type of locks, go ahead and look at there, there should be a code. Now we can make a, a key for it if you don't have a code, but it's sure easy to look this up. We've got a code source where we'll put in the, the numbers and it'll give us the spacing and depths of those keys and uh, it'll tell us what key blank to, to use and, and key card as well but what i'm going to do is uh well first thing wd-40 lubricate these locks down good now i've been working on this one and there's no telling how long it's been since the keys have been used in this lock it's kind of like your car door lock if if you always use a remote and uh, sometimes your remote stops working all i recommend is wd-40 spray that down there lubricate it'll clean some of the dust and and grime out of there as well work the key back and forth a lot of you guys that have the ford ranger trucks you'll you'll call and say hey my keys stopped working i can't unlock the door i can't lock the door i said does it work the ignition first he said yeah i said spray it down the, the uh, grease that they use in those locks gums up and then your key will stop working. WD-40, work it a little while, maybe give it a day, come back the next day, work the key, and it'll be working fine. So, and I don't recommend the graphite, I've never have. I've worked on too many locks over the last 16 years. I really, when I pull those apart, I clean them off with WD-40, and I tell people when it's, uh, your, your house lock or uh, camper lock, I got a camper sitting next to me, or your vehicle lock starts turning rough spray a little wd-40 let's see if that fixes the problem if it doesn't give me a call anyway back to the cam lock uh, finally find the key and i'm going to show you the process i go to using my code machine and cutting a key for one of these cabinet locks or utility bed locks Now what you're going to notice on this code machine, it has my spacings and my depths of the key. And uh, like I said, I've already got the key in there ready to go. Not quite sure how to position this camera so you get a, a good view of what's going on. Of course, the sun's going down, having difficulty seeing right now. But this is a double-sided key, and there's an example. I've already cut one. I'm going to give the customer two of them.
and there we have it now before I had the camera rolling I, I lubricated this down with WD-40 it's been sitting for about 40 minutes uh, I sprayed it some more then what I had done I actually have an old broken lock pick and I went in and started forcing the wafers to the side back and forth and, and it was one at a time and you could tell that they were really stuck also with that you will see all of this should not be painted so they have painted it since that time but those utility beds over time the grease the grime the road dirt moisture it will seize those little wafers up inside of that lock and not let it uh, it just binds it up like I said before lubricate everything good with WD-40 work the key a little bit not to where you break the key in it but but force it in and of course this was the first key and I, I could only get it in about that far so I took it back out sprayed some more WD-40 in there till I could finally work the key in and out of the lock and then finally I had to work it a little bit before it would break loose and now I can call the customer tell him hey I got a set of keys he's probably got uh, a total of eight of these locks on on that utility bed and it's cheaper to make a key off of the code because chances are if you look at the, the, the face of the lock and if they're all the same code then they will take all take the same key so you don't have a half dozen or eight keys to try to, to, to lock up your t utility beds or your, your gun cabinets or, or any of that stuff but anyway uh, hope this little short video helps somebody out there to let you know Part of what the locksmiths do in this business uh, that we can certainly help you out save you money save you time and uh, keep you from having to buy all new locks if it's not necessary anyway god bless and have a great day